Hey guys, today I have a giant haul. This is the biggest beauty haul that I will ever do on this channel. This is insane. I got to raid the Allure Magazine beauty closet. I was handed a bag. I was told, take what you want. And I felt like the Cinderella of makeup dreams come true. It was absolutely amazing. It took a moment for me to like have that settle in. I was like, take what you want. Let me not be rude and take just a couple things. And then a couple minutes later, I was like in this panic, like, take what you want, take what you want, ah! You know, like filling up a bag full of stuff, like this is my one opportunity. So I have a bunch of it in front of me. I'm gonna share with you really quickly just what I got and I will try to keep my reviews to a minimum. And then you guys can leave me in the comments below what items you really want me to review, put to the test, show you how they work, all of that good stuff because I don't want this to turn into like an hour long video. Let's start with a little hair care. So I grabbed Living Proof Weightless Styling Spray. This is a hairspray, haven't tried it yet, but I am so excited to because I'm a big fan of the line. I also grabbed Living Proof Full Thickening Mousse. Now this takes me back to the early days of my YouTube channel because one of my first videos was a demo on this product and it really gives you volume. It's amazing, I've loved it for a long time and it's $24 so I was like, grab that, save myself 24 bucks. And then I grabbed this dry shampoo. Uh, this is the Meta Revive Dry Shampoo. It smells amazing. This was actually used on me on the photo shoot, so I was gonna buy it anyway because I liked it so much, so I saw that up there and got really excited and grabbed that. Let's move on to a little body care, shall we? I am so excited about this product. Actually, I really wanna review it because it's so, so awesome. Um, this is the Maracuja Rainforest Glow from Tarte. It is a matte waterproof body bronzer. It's not a self-tanner. It's a wear all day and wash off kind of color enhancer and it's awesome. I grabbed Caudalie's Beauty Elixir. I freaking love this stuff. Oh, take me to the spa, it is so amazing. It's just a really lovely luxury mist you can set your makeup with, you can use it throughout the day. It smells so, so good. I also got the Caudalie Divine Oil. I actually grabbed a small bottle of this from Sephora a while back. It is awesome. It is so expensive, so I was really excited to uh, see a large bottle in there and, you know, total score. It's amazing stuff. I also grabbed this Caudalie Divine Scrub. I used this actually in New York, like right when I got back from the shoot. I was like, let's have a little spa time, and this stuff is truly out of this world. I had always been super curious to try this guy right here from Josie Moran. It's argon oil. It's 100% argon oil. It's like $49 a bottle. It's multi-purpose, and it's one of those things that I had come this close to buying but for whatever reason just never did and I've been enjoying it so far. It's really, really great stuff. Let's move on to face products. I will start with a few primers. I used this today for the first time. This is from Mally. It is the Perfect Prep Primer and it actually goes on quite liquidy. It's not very thick which is kind of different for a primer. It's really nice. I like it. And then I also grabbed this Skin Perfector Salicylic Acne Treatment Blemish and Oil Clearing Primer from Dermablend. Dermablend is really intense, kind of, you know, really for tattoo coverage, acne coverage. It's what I used to use when I had really intense cystic acne. And I've been having a lot of breakouts in this region, so I was curious to try a primer that might keep oil control, you know, around my chin. And I do really, really well with salicylic acid, so that was kind of the keyword that brought me in. And uh, yeah, grab that. I grabbed Dr. Brandt's Pores No More Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion for Oily Combo Skin. I've used this in the past and it is amazing. I got totally excited when I spotted a By Terry product and I wish I had spotted more because I want to try more from the line but it is very luxury, high-end, pricey, and um, but I was happy to grab this. This is the Hyaluronic Summer Bronzing Hydra Veil. Okay, I gotta show you guys this though. This is really crazy. So you see, it's a teeny tiny bit like this. It's not a self tanner. It's kind of like a primer and a bronzer. But like, look at that. Isn't that crazy? It smells really awesome too. All of the By Terry products smell so, so good. I grabbed an IT Cosmetics Ultra Repair Liquid Oxygen Foundation. This has peptides, hyaluronic acid, collagen, vitamins A, C, and E, and it's just a really nice foundation. Already kind of played around with it once, and I do like it. I'm so into IT Cosmetics, you guys. Ever since I ordered the Bye Bye Under Eye and the Pores No More, which I showed in my luxury haul, I have like wanted to try everything from the line. It is a solid, solid line, so grab that. I also grabbed a powder, which I think is a little bit too light for me, which is Unfortunate. This is the Celebration Foundation in Fair, but really, really nice consistency. 
I grabbed a blush from Laura Geller. I'm actually wearing this today and it blends beautifully. This is the Baked Blush in Malibu. I got a setting powder from Urban Decay. This is D Slick. This is a mattifying powder. It's just completely colorless, literally colorless. I grabbed a terracotta powder bronzer from Guerlain or Guerlain or Gurhu. I don't know how you say it. It's fancy schmancy. Uh, I had actually never tried this. Lo and behold, all my years of doing makeup and reading about how fantastic this product was, and it was one of the first, you know, bronzers that had many different finishes and shades, and they're kind of known for their bronzers. This stuff is so, 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 so good. I also grabbed a Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Luminous Concealer in the absolute wrong shade. See, here it looks light. Here it's more kind of orangey. I don't know what shade this is, but I was such a sucker. I was like, Dolce & Gabbana, I will grab that. Ah. I grabbed a Lorac Touch Up To Go Concealer Foundation Pen. And I actually used this on my sister the night that she came to the city. We went out to dinner and I touched up her makeup and I had all this fabulous stuff laid out. And this was really great because it actually applies over what you're already wearing for the day quite nicely. And you can kind of get under the eye and drag it down where you need some color and cover up and it's just a really nice pen so you just kind of click the bottom and product comes out of the top right here really amazing i grabbed an rms beauty concealer the uncover up this is number 33 and then i already showed you guys this in the foundation routine that i recently posted Aww. Um, love this, love the size of it, love that everything is in here. And the reason I like the size of this is because sometimes when you get these small little like discs that have like a highlighter, a blush, a bronzer, you cannot get your brush in there and not pick up the other shades. This one, if you want just bronzer, you can grab it. If you want just highlighter, you can grab it. If you want just blush, you can grab it. And this product is out of this world amazing. I am in love. I haven't tried this yet. This is the Bobbi Brown Retouching Powder in Pink 3. I also grabbed a Jane Iredell Zap and Hide Blemish Control. This has kind of a blemish fighting little balm on one side and then a concealer on the other. So I think that's great to keep in your purse. I grabbed an Armani Mastro Eraser. This is a dark circle concealer. Excited to try that out. You guys know how much I love concealer. And then let's move on to eyes a little bit, shall we? What I am wearing on my lids today because I just had to play around with everything and I'm still kind of going through it all and playing and getting to know my new products. Um, this is new from MAC. This is the Pink Lux. It's the Pearl Fusion Shadow. And I literally am wearing like every single shade in here on my lids today. Gorgeous. I got the Kat Von D Ladybird palette. It comes with a brown liner and then just some beautiful matte shadows. Uh, really, really nice quality. Urban Decay shadows. I Instagrammed a picture of me wearing Diamond Dog and you guys all really, really liked it. And I like it too. I have to say these guys for being so super shimmery do not have a ton of fallout, which is really, really nice. They are so pigmented and really soft. I got a Laura Geller shadow. I want to do a tutorial with this because it's just this perfect kind of midnight navy blue. It's so gorgeous. This is Blue Voodoo. I got a Tarte liner. This is an Amazonian clay waterproof liner, just a black liner. Love me some Tarte. I grabbed a YSL shadow in number 10. Again, gorgeous. I don't know why I keep holding these up to my eyes like, look, it's eyeshadow. Um, but okay, it's a single eyeshadow from YSL. Love it. <laughs> This is the Pure Chromatics in number 12. You can use these shadows wet or dry. I grabbed this single from Kevin Kwan. It is number 109. I just thought it was such a rich, gorgeous color. It'll be perfect for fall. Let's talk about polish. And can we tell what colors I'm gravitated towards right now? Hmm. I keep grabbing the same things over and over. I don't know what is up. All right, let's start with the Essie polishes. These are out right now. This is Tarte Deco. Um, Sunday Fun Day, and Turquoise and Caicos. Um, this is kind of an older one, but really beautiful color. Illamasca, ooh, I love this. I painted my nails with this the other day. And again, I keep posting all of my like new makeup trying out whatnot on Instagram. So you can follow me there at Glam Life Guru if you are curious about these photos. This is Harem. This is just the prettiest color on the nails. I really, really love Illamasca polish. And then I had never tried any nail polish from Dolce & Gabbana. I'm not 
really the type of person to buy super expensive nail polish for myself. Um, but this is what I'm wearing right now and it really glides on beautifully. You can always tell with more expensive products, they do have more expensive ingredients and a lot of times they do work a little bit better. Not to say that you can't get it done at the drugstore because you can, but it's just kind of nice sometimes to have, you know, a few items that are like, whoo, luxury because they just work well. All right, this is Camila, I think is the name of this. It's very, very tiny writing on the bottom of the bottle, but beautiful color. And then I have Butter London in Teddy Girl, which is just a gorgeous pink. Last little grouping that I have to share with you guys is for the lips. And I found a new liner that I'm totally hooked on. It is from It Cosmetics. It's a waterproof lip stain lip liner. This is in nude light medium. You get a sharpener on the end. It's just so gorgeous. And then I have a MAC liner here, have to have it. Um, yeah, I had to have it. I don't know, I saw this and I had to have it. My favorite of the bunch is Illamasqua. I am wearing this today and I love it. It is so pretty. It is like a corally nude, beautiful shade. It's called Sonnet. I love it. I also am wearing Golden Gloss from YSL in 53. Gorgeous, love it. I grabbed a Butter London Lippy. This is in Alka Pop. I grabbed a Girlactic lip gloss. They sell these at Namie's here in California. These are a little harder to find, but really nice brand. This is in Sheer Bone. It's just a nice sheer lip gloss. I grabbed a Dolce & Gabbana lipstick in True Monica. I also grabbed a Butter London lipstick in Axis Kiss, which is just a gorgeous pink. I grabbed a Dior nude lipstick in 319. This is really, really pretty, really awesome on the lip. I grabbed an Armani lipstick, which Armani lipsticks, I never noticed this before, but they have like this cool magnetic top. Uh, this is just number 101. Again, kind of a pinky nude. Can we tell what kind of lip colors I gravitate towards? Kind of hysterical. All right, so that is it. That is the end of this very small, just couple items haul. Um, I say that's it, like it was like nothing. That was a ton of stuff, right? Amazing. Thank you so much, Allure Magazine, for having me out to New York, for the shoot, for the tour, for all of this stuff. I am just so grateful. It was amazing. I am super excited for the October issue to come out, you guys. Like, I can't wait. And thank you to my subscribers for voting for me and helping me through the whole Blogger Awards. I couldn't have done it without you. And and I just, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching my videos and for all your support. And I will see you in my next video. Leave me in the comments what you want to see specific reviews on because I'd be more than happy to. And that's all I got for now. All right, bye guys. Mwah.